this story that I'm about to read is truly uh, just unhinged. And it's it's a thing that I want everyone to keep in mind that had this happened, you know, 12, let's say 12 years ago, this is the sort of thing that would have ruined a political career for being associated with a person like this. And now it's just like, oh, man, that's crazy. Uh, okay, so they pulled Donald Trump Jr. off Twitter for 12 hours. He's back now. This was this was Monday. Twitter said the president's son was punished for violating its terms that bars users from spreading false medical advice about the pandemic. Uh, Trump had posted a video by Dr. Stella Emanuel. Uh, Trump Jr. declared the video of Emanuel's a, quote, must watch. Uh, so that leads to the question, who is Stella Emanuel? Uh, she is a Houston-based pediatrician and a religious minister with a history of making bizarre claims about medical topics and other issues. Right. So as you want uh, your doctor to do, <laughs> right? Your doctor who specifically works on your child. <laughs> the adjective I want in my doctor's profile is bizarre. That yeah. is really <laughs> <laughs> eccentric. Byzantine. <laughs> I don't. Want, I don't want bizarre in my doctor's description unless he's talking about his favorite rapper. Am yeah, right hell yeah, 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 yeah. D twelve, baby. Yeah. <laughs> guy with the shower cap and he's fat and he's got tattoos and no shirt. <laughs> hell rules. yeah, hell yeah. Love that guy. Uh, for instance, Emmanuel has often claimed that gynecological problems like ovarian cysts are in fact caused by people having sex in their dreams with demons and witches. <laughs> <laughs> quote that's why i don't do it quote, quote we call them cis but most of them are evil deposits from spirit husbands <laughs> which uh so she, it's because women are too horny when they sleep that's literally it is she's saying that in your dreams you are susceptible to fucking a devil <laughs> Yeah. And that's why you have it's called the vapors. Yeah, that's why you, that's why you have a variant cyst. You know, she came up with this concept because that's what happens in her dream. Yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah, It's always that you're people always telling themselves with the shit they hate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like oh, these gay guys with their hot chests, yeah, their chiseled abs, chiseled abs, <laughs> and their fucking lantern jaws, the fucking bullshit, like. <laughs> So I just don't want to see it. Because when just, I see it, ooh. Yeah, I mean, I just ooh, don't want to. What am I supposed to do? Look, I just. Sit, leaving my family who I don't well, Look, I mean, God forbid, if he comes over and talks to me and asks me how I feel about my feelings, that would piss me off. And I can't, <laughs> well, cannot have, abide. Have you ever met somebody who, when you, like, bring up anything, like, with gay people, like, like if you talk about two gay people in a relationship yeah, or something, yeah. they'll just go. Ugh. Yeah, and it's like right. you're not supposed to think about them having gay sex <laughs> when it's brought know, up. You're not supposed yeah. to immediately think about that. Yeah, if somebody's like, yeah, him and his husband did blah blah blah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, cool, whatever. And then <laughs> you say it to some bigot, and they immediately imagine those two guys having sex. <laughs> That's I, like their I first step. Guy, I used to know this guy who was like, he couldn't eat hot dogs. Oh, what? dude, that's it so went well into good. adulthood. No nanners, no popsicles, no hot dogs. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I'm Terrence. And yeah, it's it's like that joke in Superbad, but like for real. Like he felt weird holding remote controls. What? It's like, do you just see dicks everywhere, uh, dude? I love. Has he ever been to a concert? It's just like someone playing a dick with like, strings on it and like singing that into would, a dick. Singing into a dick. That would be hilarious. What a hilarious way to live your life. Yeah, like, just everything. You're like, ah, well, like, that's, like some that's what happens like, in my dream. Conditions. <laughs> yeah, everything turns into dicks. Yeah, I have that dream too. All the time. And the one where I'm falling, yeah. <laughs> falling into a pit of dicks, yeah. and they're all they're all coming. <laughs> But they're uh, making like sneeze noises when they come. Like, <laughs> does that mean you have COVID? <laughs> uh, Emmanuel's bizarre medical ideas don't stop with demon sex. Uh, in a 2015 sermon that laid out a supposed Illuminati plan hatched by a quote witch to destroy the world using abortion, <laughs> gay marriage, and children's toys, <laughs> nice among try, other things. Witch. <laughs> <laughs> Emmanuel claimed that DNA from space aliens is currently being used in medicine. Oh, wow. <laughs> Which aliens? Quote, they're using all kinds of DNA, even alien DNA to treat people, Emmanuel said. <laughs> uh, her website offers a prayer to remove a generational curse originally received from an ancestor, but transmitted in Emmanuel's telling through the placenta. I'll do it for half the price. <laughs> <laughs> A quarter of the price. <laughs> you can't beat these deals, folks. <laughs> Emmanuel claimed in another 2015 sermon posted uh, that scientists had plans to install microchips in people and develop a, quote, vaccine to make it impossible to become religious. Now, that's true. Okay. That's true. We all know that's true. 
<laughs> that vaccine might save the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. We call it the anti-war vaccine. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're supposed to respect people who believe stupid shits in the sky. Sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's wrong to not do that. It is. Quote, they found the gene in somebody's mind that makes you religious so they can vaccinate against it. <laughs> That was true. God. Oh man, yeah, no, that's that, that's wishful thinking. That's all oh, fucking amazing. Uh, in her 2015 sermon on the Illuminati, supposed agenda to bring down the United States, Emmanuel argues that a wide variety of toys, books, and TV shows, from Pokemon, which she declared quote Eastern demons. <laughs> I could see uh, that. I could see that actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to nice, nice, <laughs> subtly racist Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> to Harry Potter and the Disney Channel shows Wizards of Waverly Place and That's So Raven. <laughs> Which I don't think has a magical element. I believe it's just because Raven yeah. Simone is uh, gay, Harry, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's, that's why it's a, a Harry a Potter, show. as she calls them, limey demon. <laughs> <laughs> All of these Disney shows were part of a scheme to introduce children to spirits and witches. Emmanuel mm-hmm. warned that the Disney Channel show Hannah Montana was a gateway to evil because its character had a, quote, alter ego. <laughs> <laughs> Miley Cyrus. It's yeah. weird that you can publicly believe this stuff and still have a like doctor, a medical license. license. Yeah. yeah. How do they only take it away if you like kill people? <laughs> like if you sub- if you advise people to do stuff that will kill them. <laughs> Is that not the same thing? Yeah. Do you have to be holding a fucking scalpel to a jugular to lose your medical license? <laughs> this is like a Dr. Gonzo oh, kind of God. situation. I love this. Uh, she has claimed that the schools teach children to meditate so that they can, quote, meet with demons. Right. Mm-hmm. Which, again, sounds Do fucking school awesome. Teach kids to meditate? <laughs> huh? Uh, I guess in I Texas, they, maybe. Yeah. Sometimes now they do. Yeah. Oh, well, they, they said okay. the same people that freaked out when they were trying to teach yoga, yoga. In gym class. Yeah, I believe they oh, wow. banned it in Alabama. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they banned oh, yoga because they thought you might get into polytheism, I guess. Right. I th- you I might th- calm down and realize it. There's, yeah, there's we a- don't want nobody yeah. worshiping Krishna and, and, and farting into yoga pants. Yeah, trying right. to be all complete and at one with themselves and shit. <laughs> Letting go of toots and talking about Ganesh. Mm. <laughs> now, see, there's a guy up in the sky and he's watching everybody who aren't not get with each other. <laughs> How are you stretching? Yeah, yeah. No, you that's you do a touch your toes football stretch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no rising sun. That's a three point stance there, son. All right. Now do it a little slower. I'm gonna see how your hammies are looking. <laughs> It's dark sided. <laughs> uh, in this sermon, this is this is fucking awesome. I mm. love this. In this sermon, Emmanuel preserved special vitriol for the magic eight ball, a toy that can be shaken up to reveal any answer. Emmanuel claims that the Magic 8-Ball toy was, in fact, a scheme to get children to use witchcraft. Quote, the 8-Ball was a psychic, she said. <laughs> These are the kind of Christians that, like, hate the Ouija board. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I like how, just that sentence structure, too. 8-Ball still exists. <laughs> yeah, that's like, 8-Ball was a psychic. It was a psychic. Yeah. It's an inanimate object. <laughs> yeah, that you could probably only buy in, like, novelty stores you at this point. You can maybe get six answers out of it. Right, And right. they all are just yes, no, or I don't know. Right, right. D- did you ever remember an answer from a Magic 8-Ball and being like, it was right? <laughs> well, dude, I lived my whole life off what the eight ball said. <laughs> I ran away from home. Uh, <laughs> I'm always going from eight ball to eight ball, brother. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love cocaine. <laughs> uh, Emmanuel recently gave a now viral speech on the steps of the United States Supreme Court at the, quote, White Coat Summit, a gathering of a handful of doctors who call themselves, quote, America's frontline doctors and dispute the medical <laughs> consensus on COVID. The event was organized by the right wing group Tea Party Patriots, which is, of course, backed by wealthy Republican donors. In her speech, Emmanuel alleges that she has successfully treated hundreds of patients with hydroxychloroquine. Quote, nobody needs to get sick. The virus has a cure. Uh, Towards the end of her speech, the events organizers and participants can be seen trying to get her away from the microphone. (laughs) And another thing. So even the Tea Party Patriots, the most craven ghouls of our country, uh, are like, okay, lady, that's all right. Hey, we're trying to scam people here, but you're just telling outright lies. (laughs) It's very obvious. You're speaking into a microphone. You're going to get us sued. (laughs) And she's she's always like, and eating batteries cures cancer. They're like, like, no, 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 no. Okay. So so as they said, there's a cure. Uh, Open everything up. 
Open up all the bars. Uh, there's a cure now, so we're all good. I would be uh, shocked if she had over a hundred patients. Mm-hmm. As, as her claim of she's now cured, this kind of st- she's cured hundreds of people with it. Yeah, you're when, a pediatrician. Well, what it sounds like is mm-hmm. that her church and her doctor's office are next door to each other in the same strip mall in Houston. So <laughs> I think it's probably one to one. It's mm-hmm. all the same people. I don't think there's people coming in and out of either. So she uh, runs a church where she collects tithings from people, and then she also <laughs> charges them for medical services to fix their kids. I guess. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is the video that Trump shared, by the way, of her like. All right, Laney. Uh, Emmanuel's video was embraced by the Trumps, conservative student group Turning Point USA, uh, but both Facebook and Twitter eventually deleted videos of Emmanuel's speech, uh, citing rules against COVID-19 disinformation. Emmanuel responded in her own way, and this is outstanding, uh, declaring that Jesus would destroy Facebook servers if her videos weren't restored to the platform. (laughs) Destroy? (laughs) This is her quote. Just Hello. like the, the markets and the, the temple. Yeah, Jesus is going to flip the tables at Zuckerberg's house. That's right. Yeah, You were thieves in my father's servers. Uh, <laughs> this is her quote. Hello, Facebook. Put back my profile page and videos up or your computers with start crashing till you do. You are not bigger that God. I promise you, if my page is not back up, Facebook will be down in Jesus' name. <laughs> that's the that's the exact quote. That's what she typed. That's like a comment on a, a trap song. <laughs> oh, or we something. might have a few of those. <laughs> she might have commented later on well, the. They say doctors' handwritings are bad, but so are their <laughs> spelling yeah, mouth, and grammar. Their mouth makings yeah. uh, also bad. <laughs> Too busy opening arteries in the heart <laughs> <laughs> through surgery. Uh, despite appearing in Washington D.C. to lobby Congress. On Monday, Emmanuel has said that the government is not run by humans, but instead by reptilians and other aliens. Uh, she's a reptile person. Fuck yes, she is. Uh, th- these are people that are ruling this nation. This is a quote. Quote, these are people that are ruling this nation that are not even human. Uh, so Emmanuel said in a 2015 sermon uh, that she'd had a conversation with a, quote, reptile spirit that she described as half human, half E.T. <laughs> So not even like doing like the men in black like like breathe with another set of gills thing like this, yeah. it just was E T. That's but what wearing I was, clothes. I, I was imagining it's 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 from the video Stone Cold E T. It's just a guy just being like you little know burgers. With lady, little you onion. sound fucking nuts. Give me a hell yeah. <laughs> Give me a hell. And cooking his distended little belly on a rock. <laughs> lady, let me impregnate you with my demon seed. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got more cure COVID. <laughs> uh, now. I, Emmanuel is angling for the key rite of passage for any budding MAGA world personality, a visit to the Trump White House. Late Monday night, Emmanuel tweeted that she was open to meeting with the president. Quote, Mr. President, I am in town and I am available. I will love to meet with you. <laughs> Emmanuel is a registered physician in Texas, according to a Texas medical board database and operates a medical clinic out of a strip mall that is located next door to her church. Firepower Ministries. Emmanuel was born in Cameroon and received her medical degree, supposedly, in Nigeria. So that's who Donald Trump Jr. is like retweeting. And this is what I'm saying. Like, Obama had to disown his pastor, (laughs) Jeremiah Wright, Mm -hmm. for like 12 years ago. That guy has, uh, you know, time has really borne him out. 